Hey guys, it's OC Dosi here and today's video is going to be a bit different than most of my videos but it's something that's really important to me and something that I want to do here on YouTube. I've been meaning to do this for a while and I'm finally ready to do it here on YouTube and it's to start my weight loss journey. I've seen most people on YouTube who have started a weight loss journey end up being successful with it and that's what I'm hoping to do through this and hopefully some of my viewers are also wanting to start a weight loss journey and we can do it together and we can keep track of each other and stay on pace together. So I'm going to be reading off my laptop some notes that I've seen online about starting a weight loss journey and hopefully it's helpful to you if you're wanting to start a weight loss journey too. And these are the things that really stuck out to me as someone who's tried to lose weight multiple times, many times. And I've been successful sometimes, but I've never stuck to it. And hopefully through these tips that I've seen online, I can stick to it and hopefully you can too. So one of the tips is to think short term. And this is something that I really battled with because I'll have a long term goal. Like my long term goal is maybe to lose 40 pounds. And that's all I'll think about. So let's say I work out consistently and eat well for like a whole week and I get on the scale and I've only lost like one pound. I'll give up because I'll be like, damn, it's not working. But I'm not realizing I need to add up the small little goals together to get to my larger goal. So thinking short term. So my short term goal is going to be to lose five pounds by let's say February. So to do that, I'm going to be consistent with the three times a week, going to the gym, eating well. But that's going to be my only goal in mind is the five pounds rather than thinking about 40 pounds because that's overwhelming myself and automatically setting myself up for failure. The next goal is what I'm doing right now and being public about my goals. Sometimes I've shied away from this because I feel like I've told people that I'm going to try and lose weight and then they'll be like, oh, so why are you eating that? Why are you doing that? Why aren't you in the gym right now? Like things like that. And it's kind of like shaming me in, in a sense. Like if I don't do it the way they think I need to to lose weight, then it's like. But I realized that going public about trying to lose weight does not mean that I have to take other people's advice into hand because sometimes their advice is not actually advice but spites disguised as advice the next thing i'm seeing here is logging my intake i know for me logging my intake does not work so if it works for you go ahead and do that but what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting all my meals on my snapchat story that way if everyone is seeing what i'm eating it's another way of being public of what i'm eating and i'm going to be less likely to eat overeat if everyone's seeing what I'm eating you know it's kind of a reverse psychology on myself right so the next thing is to figure out your diet strategy for me I know I need to work on eating more fruits and vegetables and more raw fruits and vegetables because I do eat a lot of vegetables but most of the times they're cooked so all the nutrients are out of it so I'm going to work on eating more raw fruits and vegetables. So I'm going to incorporate that into my diet. The next thing I'm seeing is don't expect to lose 10 pounds in a week. And that is really singing to the choir because again, like my first point, you can't be unrealistic in this because then you're just going to be so, so, so disappointed. High expectations lead to disappointments. And expecting to lose 10 pounds in a week is really crazy and I've expected that of myself so many times and it's it's terrible because when you don't lose it you're just gonna be like damn like I'm a disappointment right next tip I'm here seeing here is track your success so how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to take a picture of myself every day after I go to the gym and make it my screensaver on my phone so that way I'm going to be motivated to go to the gym again. Seeing myself in workout gear after working out, having that really good feeling after working out, I'm going to be motivated to go again and keep going so I can keep seeing the progress of my body changing. It's kind of like your natural hair journey if you're natural. Seeing your hair growing and the curls forming and seeing your hair pattern like wants you to keep taking care of your hair. So it's like that with your body as well. Be prepared for failure. This is really important because sometimes 
you're gonna eat pizza, you're gonna eat junk, you're gonna eat ice cream, but don't see that as the end of the world and don't see it at the end of, as the end of your weight loss journey. Just because you eat pizza one day doesn't cancel out all the work you've been doing for weeks. So know that you're gonna cheat, you're gonna have those little failures, but don't completely cancel out your weight loss journey because of it. So yeah, those are a couple of the tips I'm seeing here and hopefully those are helping you and those are definitely helping me and those are things I'm going to be keeping in mind while I start this journey. If you have no one to start this journey with, you could definitely start it with me. Add me on Snapchat, I'm gonna put my Snapchat here and let's get this fitness journey popping and let's actually stick to it this year because i don't know about you but i know me personally i've been trying to lose weight for a while now here and there i'll lose weight but i'll always slack off this way i'm holding myself accountable through youtube and hopefully you guys will hold me accountable and we'll do this together weight is a sensitive topic but hopefully I will lose the sensitivity of weight if I lose weight and I get to the goal of where I want to be and hope to be and I hope you do too. So I really hope this video was helpful and if you're starting a weight loss journey let me know down below. If you're starting a weight gain journey let me down know down below and comment what your body goals are for 2017. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!